Bye. Hello, and welcome to Electronica 2016, the world's leading trade fair for systems, applications, and components. Whether circuit boards, semiconductors, connectors, sensors, or displays, we're going to show you right here which systems, applications, or components developers plan to premiere first. Let's go take a look. Automotive is one of the main themes here at Electronica 2016. Whether semi-autonomous or completely autonomous driving, new interior or exterior electronics, or better connectivity, the new technologies are changing the development of the automotive industry like never before. I've been invited on a test drive into the future with NXP Semiconductors. Want to come along? Hi. Where are we going? <laughs> I'm standing here with Lars Rager, CTO Automotive at NXP, and Lars knows everything there is to know about self-driving trucks and cars. <laughs> so Lars, tell me, what is the state of self-driving cars and trucks today? What you see in here and what we are showcasing at, uh, at Electronica is um, a, a big trial on how we can expect the transport of the future to happen. So trucks are talking to each other via car-to-car -car communication, trucks are talking to traffic lights, um, they get information from vulnerable road users like, like motorcyclists or passenger cars as well. And what is even most important is these trucks are platooning. So what that means is the first truck is manually driven by a driver and there is other trucks following that truck electronically connected, not physically connected, mm -hmm. but following black like trailers. So the drivers in the following trucks don't need to work at all at that moment. They just follow, they see the pictures of the front camera of truck number one, and they're just driving on a motorway, for example, like a road train. And how are these trucks actually communicating with each other without getting hacked? These trucks can communicate over one mile of distance uh, very quickly and secure, so hacking proof. Yeah. So they have little crypto chips inside, like we have them in the German passports, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. And the same chips are making sure that the communication cannot be hacked so that if truck one breaks he can communicate to the following trucks and therefore of course the following trucks can trust that there was the message hey I'm breaking emergency breaking really sent by truck number one and not by a hacker who just wanted to disturb the, the platoon. Well I could talk about this all day long but unfortunately we don't have any more time. Lars thank you so much. Thanks a lot my pleasure. <laughs> Next to the security of data transmission, security for drivers plays an extremely important role. And the security of mobility of the future will be determined by automotive electronics. And of course, the catchphrase of the day, of the year, of the century, is autonomous driving. Other important topics will be electromobility and interior electronics. Of course, we'll be covering all of that and more right here on ETV from Electronica. Infineon is represented with a world first at Electronica. The Real3 image sensor can measure depth data in real time. The sensor is very small, meaning power consumption and performance are optimized so that it is very versatile. In the consumer area, there is the integration in smartphones for augmented reality applications. Then, of course, in the automotive sector, one of our main topics. Here, driver monitoring is possible. That is to say, you want to know what the driver is doing in the car, especially in the area of semi-autonomous driving. UDR. Untethered dead reckoning will greatly facilitate, for example, the work of police and rescue workers. Navigation systems with UDR enable reliable positioning, even if interruptions of the GNSS signal occur in car parks, tunnels or street canyons. A variety of driving assistance systems are available today for drivers. Renesis Electronics is showcasing at Electronica the augmented reality application ADAS View Kit for more safety and comfort while driving. We are two different 
We enable two types of fields of view. First, the 360 degree angle, so that the driver can see his car from all sides, for example, when parking or in a critical traffic situation. On the other hand, we replace the three conventional mirrors with cameras, so you can see your surroundings via the mirror cameras. The cameras recognize objects, so the driver gets warned when turning off that a cyclist, for instance, is next to the car. The racing series Formula E is a showcase in terms of innovative technologies, especially when it comes to energy management. Here Rome comes into play. The leading semiconductor manufacturer relies on silicon carbide. Among the many advantages of this technology, one stands out. SIC components can work with higher voltage levels and tensions and therefore suffer from fewer power outages. Another highlight here at Electronica is smart lighting. In fact, the lights of today may seem like something out of the dark ages after you hear about this. Osram and a team of researchers have developed a new intelligent LED headlight with high resolution. And here to tell us more about it is Stefan Gretsch. Stefan, please enlighten us. Yeah, what we see here is the development over the last 3.5 years where we together with external partners like Infineon, Afranov Institutes, Heller and Daimler developed a novel light source. So the advantage is that we can control much more pixels in the lamp. Today's premium vehicles have close to 100 LED pixels. Mm -hmm. With this approach, we can achieve from 1,000 to 10,000 pixels in a vehicle headlamp system. And what's the advantage of that? Instead of having individual LED, packages, we make a large chip that has 1,024 LED pixels, which are directly bonded to an intelligent piece of silicon. Oncoming vehicles can be detected with a camera, and ah. that information is sent to the central electronics, and the light source is then individually controlled to make glare-free lights. Stefan Grosch, thank you for taking the time to speak with us. Yep, thank you. it for today. Mission accomplished. But do you see that? That's my heart beating. And it's beating because I am so excited about tomorrow's edition of ETV. Tomorrow we are going to dedicate the entire day to medical electronics and what role wearables will play. We'll also take a look at the smallest camera in the world that was developed for endoscopic examinations. See you tomorrow on ETV.